Hi guys, welcome to the channel again. So in the last class, uh, we have seen the conformational analysis of straight chain compounds and uh, we end up with uh, your uh, butane, butane conformation. Now very quickly we will move to the conformations of the Ele cyclic system, right? That is cyclic compounds, but they are aliphatic in nature. Hmm? Not uh, no, uh, no aromaticity is there. Now you see, if you see your cyclic system, uh, before going to the exact conformations of these cyclic systems, I like to give a brief idea about the Bayer strain theory. Initially, uh, Bayer explained that. Uh, whenever there is the deviation from normal tetrahedral angle in the organic compounds then there would be some kind of angle strain in the molecule and due to this angle strain uh, these uh, the stability of these cyclo uh, cy any cyclic compounds varies right however uh, later uh, it proved that uh, whatever uh, bears have explained Okay, it was fine up to the cyclobutane and cyclopentane, but it completely fails to the cyclohexane uh, when it comes to the cyclohexane system. And moreover, the theory which was adapted by the Bayer, uh, the important uh, point of that theory is that the molecules or the cyclic structures are planar in nature. But later on, it proved that they are not planar actually. So, uh, not going into the details of the Bayer strain theory, I will quickly move to the concept of this uh, conformations or different conformational, uh, conformations of your uh, cyclic systems. So, uh, initially uh, you can think in this way, you have this particular structure, this is your cyclopropane. CH2 is there, if you write, if you want to write, then you can write in this way, this is CH2, CH2 and CH2 and you know the angle between these two would be the 60 degree. Now if you move to this particular structure, this is your cyclobutane, so this would be your CH2, CH2 and CH2 on the corners. So, I have shown in the flat planar structures. In, uh, currently, they are the planar structure, right? And again, you can move to the next system. This is your cyclopentane. So, again, CH2, 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 lots of CH2s are there. And you know, this bond angle would be the 90 degree. So, uh, not uh, going to this cyclopentane, I will explain with the help of this one. Now, what can happen? You see, what is the normal tetrahedral bond angle? Normal tetrahedral bond angle. We all know this is 109.5 degrees. Now, since the cyclopropane is having 60 degrees, so how much angle strain would be there? Angle strain. Right. So, you can calculate the angle strain in this way. Normal bond angle required by hybridization minus minus bond angle present in the system and 
this is divided by 2 right we all know these carbons are sp3 all carbons are sp3 hybridized similarly here also all carbons are all four carbons sp3 hybridized now we can calculate the angle strain so angle strain would be so since hybridization is the sp3 kind of hybridization right so a normal tetrahedral bond angle is 109.5 degrees minus 60 degree is already there you can write 60 degree here divided by 2 so this will give you 49.5 2 again you see this will give you 2 2 is a 4 2 4 is a 8 2 7 is a 14 and 2 5 is a 10 so this much of angle strain is present in your cyclopropane system. Now uh, one can ask why we are dividing uh, these two. So again a very simple explanation for this one. Uh, say suppose I have this open chain compound carbon 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 right in this way. But to form the cyclic system we have I have to press these two bonds right. Say this is the bond this is the bond I have to press this bond here this bond here see I have to pull this bond to form a cyclic system that mean this angle strain would be associated with these two carbons and equally this 49.5 of angle strain is equally distributed between the two terminal carbon atoms that is each one is having 24.75 of angle strain now this is why we are dividing uh, this is why we are dividing it with uh, two right Similarly, you can go for this uh, cyclobutane system. So, you can calculate angle strain. Angle strain. How? See, again, the hybridization is sp3. So, you can write 109.5 degrees divided by 90 degrees. Sorry, minus 90 degrees divided by 2. So, uh, this will give you somewhere around 19.5 divided by 2 that is 2 9 is 18 then point 2 7 is a 14 and 2 5 is 10 9.75 right this much of 9.75 so each divided each uh, this 19.5 angle strain is actually equally distributed to the two carbon atoms as I have explained in the case of the cyclopropane right so but remember uh, cyclopropane has the three point and this cyclopropane has no choice except this having this particular planar structure because there is no any way by which you can arrange the three points in the space other than this triangular geometry so we cannot do anything or you see cyclopropane cannot do anything to overcome this angle strain so it remains as a flat structure so this is how this is why the bear is uh, bear was correct why because bear said that the structure are planar so this is planar but this planar nature is not associated with this cyclic uh, sorry uh, cyclobutane system oh. so this is how we can see the angle strain but not only the angle strain there are other factors uh, which are uh, which are also responsible for the different uh, conformations uh, to adapt by the cyclic structures how we can see so in the previous class also I have explained there are three uh, kinds of uh, uh, there are three factors which are responsible for the systems to adapt the different kind of the geometries and if you haven't watched my previous uh, videos then you can uh, go through my the previous video so here is the link for the video where I have explained all these things so uh, now you see uh, number one angle strain angle strain I have explained already number two 
bits a strain right you can check the spelling may be wrong or sometimes you see eclipsing strain or you see the torsional strain so in the textbook in the various textbook you can find these terms and one can have uh, confusion easily uh, one one can get confused that pitzer eclipsing torsional what are they actually they are the same one and they are the eclipsing inflections right i have explained it already and number 3 is wonder walls right wonder walls so these three is hard right now you see first of all i am explaining why the cyclobutane is unstable right so you can see in this way this is the flat planar structure of the cyclobutane why a planar see if you see these carbons carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 and carbon 4 they are in the one plane right you can put the cyclobutane in this way you can put in this way you can put in this way all uh, the time they are in the same plane right and you can think these are the hydrogens which are attached to each carbons two hydrogens which i have shown now if you see this angle or any angle so this is 90 degree angle that mean due to this 90 degree angle it is associated with the angle strain fine now if you see or if you focus say for example if you focus this on this then you can find this bond is eclipsing to this one this bond is eclipsing to this one right similarly you can think uh, you can see here these bonds are the eclipsing one so uh, students whether it is filming or not it is coming right so this is eclipsing so this is eclipsing right so uh, it is in the frame okay right so this this is the eclipsing interactions fine so uh, this cyclobutane is basically associated with the two kinds of the strain first is your i have explained this angle strain and second one is your pitz torsional or angle strain right so uh, why i am not mentioning the third one as far as hydrogens are there so there is uh, not much role to play by this van der waals structures as they are the surface area dependent if you replace this hydrogen with the bulky groups only then the van der waals uh, repulsion comes into the picture right so what this cyclobutane will do it can adopt some other conformation it can adopt some other conformation by which in, it can reduce its strains now the question comes what kind of strains it will remove now see for to remove such kind of interactions you see this is another model of your cyclobutane right so to have the puckered ring structures puckered ring structure you you can focus on these right you can focus on these uh, initially these two greens or every white ones white ones are the hydrogen these two uh, these two are also the hydrogen but uh, i have shown with the different color only to explain how it is how these two uh, are removing their strain so what can happen it can puckered in this way it can puckered in this way so what you are observing if you see right that mean carbons now are in the different planes and now if you focus in these hydrogens so they are not actually in the eclipsing position you see because these two jumped so they are not eclipsing actually right and if they are not eclipsing in this way right so that mean they are reducing its eclipsing strain or the torsional strain by adopting this bent shaped structure or the 
puckered structure in which to have jumped here. But one can argue while they are moving in this way, the two carbons are moving up, right? So these two would have the interactions, but remember this hydrogens are too small. So these two would come in the picture when we replace these hydrogen with some different ones. So now this is somewhat, uh, you see the staggered, not perfectly staggered, but the staggered conformation in which this eclipsing bond strain are removed. But it will increase the angle strain because we are puckering it, right? It will increase the angle strain. So it is uh, very, very important to note that cyclobutane adapt a puckered ring structures that is a bent type of the structures in which two carbons goes in the different plane and two in the different plane. In fact, three are forming in the, uh, three are forming one plane and rest uh, are forming other plane. I will explain. So, uh, but this angle strain it is not reducing, right? Why it is not reducing this angle strain? Because the angle strain is not very much. It was some, somewhere around 19.5, while in case of cyclobutane it was uh, very higher. So, the important factor, factor or important uh, thing which is uh, uh, destabilizing the molecule is the Pitzer eclipsing or the torsional strain and it is removing this way, right? So this is something very, very important to note that. Now the question comes, how we can draw these conformations on the paper? Very easily you can see. Now again, very, very important. Say, conformations in this way. Right? Not perfectly drawn though. You can see this one. So how? You can think this way. Right? This is the structure actually. So this carbon is say this one and this carbon is say this one to so both in the top side position. Right? And this molecule if you see will have a C2 symmetry. C2 symmetry means when you rotate this particular molecule by 180 degree then you will end up with the identical geometry that is 180 degree rotation. If you rotate say it is just like this or I can explain with the help of the model in this way. So this is actually the C2 axis which is going through. Now you can rotate this, you can rotate this, you can rotate this and you can end up with this one. Right. So uh, don't bother about these two. Consider all are the same. So this axis I am rotating by 180 degree. This is rotating, rotating and coming in this way. Fine. So this is how you can see. Now the question comes, you see the hydrogens. If you see this hydrogen H and you can consider this H also. Similarly, this is the hydrogen here and this is the hydrogen here. So these hydrogens are actually parallel to this C2 axis. So I will draw it again here. Sorry, I am exactly in front of the board, which is not good. This way. So you end up with these type of conformations H and H. Right. This is H, this is H. So this is the conformation actually. Right. Now uh, you can think in this way, uh, say for example, uh, this is carbon number 1, this is carbon number 2, this is carbon number 3, this is carbon number 4 actually. In this way you can think. So this C1, C2 and C4, C1, C2 and C4, they constitute one plane, right? 
so they constitute one plane and again you see this c3 c2 and c4 c2 c3 and c4 they constitute one plane right so one plane means you can consider in this way for example i have shown in this way here fine this one you can think it this way one two three and four so this one two and four they are in the same plane if you see you can think it this way they are constituting one plane in this way they are constituting one plane similarly if you see this one this c2 c3 and c4 they are constituting one plane so one plane is coming in this way one coming in plane in this way so we can draw this plane here say right so this is your one plane right similarly this and this they are forming the other plane if you extend here if you extend this here if you know the angle or if you want to calculate the angle this would be somewhere around 35 degree this is actually the range of puckering how much puckering is occurred actually how much puckering so this is uh, very important to note that in the cyclobutane system when it adopts this kind of structure this uh, when uh, conformation actually so puckering is actually 35 degree so uh, one can see uh, what is actually this 35 degrees so you can think in this way right here one plane is going in this way one plane is going in this way so the angle between this is actually the puckering so this is how you can draw the conformations and remember one thing uh, if you consider if you think about the average plane between these two so this hydrogen is going up so this is called here beta hydrogen and axial also so this is beta hydrogen you know the hydrogens or the substituents which are above the plane actually they are the beta one uh, so this is the alpha one which are below the plane they are the alpha one and it is equatorial equatorial right but what you can do you can very easily flip these two up right so what happens if you flip these two up so this would be say 2 this would be 3 right this is 1 and this is 4 so initially you see sorry not 1 2 3 4 I'll redraw this one this way you see this was 1 and this 2 this 3 so you pulled up this 2 up so this 2 would be up and this 4 would also up right and 1 and 3 would be down so this is not the only confirmation it can easily flip in this way in which the carbons would change their position so this is how you can see the confirmations of the cyclobutane right so uh, in the next class i'll uh, explain the conformational analysis of your cyclopentane system right so guys uh, i have checked my account then find that most of my viewer in fact 90 percent of my uh, viewers are non-subscribers so please guys uh, subscribe my channel if you really like uh, the channel like the explanation which i'm giving here it costs you nothing 
right but uh, further it will uh, give the motivation to me to go, to shoot the good videos the new uh, videos so please subscribe and don't uh, forget to press the bell icon thank you thank you very much